a 3D maze in Scratch. As you can see, you can walk, move, and look around in the maze. And if you hit a wall, you stop. So let's get started. First, delete the cat. Paint a sprite. Use the box tool. Make the fill empty. Now draw a rectangle. Move it to the middle. Now draw any maze design you want. After you're done drawing your maze, name it Map. Now in the Map Sprite, one green flag clicked. Set. I mean, make a new variable. Name it Ghost. For all sprites. Set Ghost to 100. Then go to zero zero and then set goes to a hundred and then change set the brightness. I mean set goes to ghost. Now paint a sprite. Use the circle tool. Make the fill black. Make the outline nothing. Now draw a small circle. Name it player. Now, in the player sprite, when green flag clicked, make the new variable name. Speed for this sprite only. Set speed to 1.5. Point in direction anything. And make the maze go to zero zero. Now drag the player to where you want it to spawn, like right here. Now go to the place, then point in direction 0, which is up, or 30, like that. Now. Set ghost to ghost, ghost effect to ghost. Now, make a new block, name it move, add an input name, named move speed. Now, when green flag clicked, Forever, if key up arrow pressed, duplicate it, <coughs> down arrow pressed, duplicate it, right arrow and left arrow. <coughs> now, move speed the move block and then put the variable speed duplicate it now speed times minus one now 
key right arrow pressed turn five degrees and then key left arrow press turn five degrees make sure it's the other block for the left now on the define move speed now move by move speed if touching map Move move speed times minus one. Now, when green flag clicked forever, and then make a new message called sense. Make a new sprite. Make it into a very, very, very small circle. Like this. Now, in the sense bright, when green flag clicked, set ghost to ghost. Then, when I receive sense, make a new block name sense. Run without screen refresh. Now, when I receive sense, sense, then broadcast draw. Now, in the sense sprite, make a new list. Name distance. For all sprites, height distance. Now make a new variable name distance. For all sprites. Set. Um, Delete all of distance, then set distance to zero and make a new variable named angle offset. For this sprite only. Actually, just for all sprites. Now, set angle offset to minus 480, I mean minus 40. Now, oh. now, repeat 96 times. Set distance to zero. Go to player. Point in direction. Direction of player plus angle offset. Now repeat until or Touching map or distance greater than <clears throat> seventy nine. Now, in the repeat until, change distance by one, then move one step <clears throat> now add distance to distance change angle offset by one now name this sense now paint another sprite 
name it draw and you don't need to draw anything in the draw sprite when I receive draw then make a new block named draw run the file screen refresh now when I receive draw draw now go to minus 237 and minus 108 I mean 108 now click this button and click the pen extension now set pen size to 6 then Set pen color to any color you want. For now, let's do a grayish color like this. Now, erase all. Pen up. Make a new variable name columns. For this sprite only. Set column. To one. Now repeat length of distance. And then set brightness to thirty. Plus and then times item of columns item of columns item of columns of distance times Thirty divided by sixty. Now set Y two one thousand two hundred divided by item of columns of distance. Pen down. Duplicate it. Now minus 1200 and make it pen up. Now change x by 5 and change columns by 1. Now if you start, then the maze thing will start. Now you have a fully working maze. And also in the backdrops, you can use the box to drag out a box. Make sure it is up, but not too up. Like right here. Now use this. And make this color more of a darker green. And make this color more of a lighter green. Like this. Now, use the box tool. Drag out one of these and make make it a normal and make this a sky color like this and make the draw maybe the walls a little bit darker of the color 
now you have a fully working maze maze 3d maze thank you for watching have a nice day